right, all right, all right. What is going on, you guys? It is me, right? It is she, right? It is Vibra. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. And I am back at it again. Back, back at it again. Yes, indeed, my babies. We are here to find out what the word around town is, what the T is in the street. Okay, baby. You already know we are reloaded. I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. A shout out to all my newbies. A shout out to all my babies who have been coming through, like, sharing, subscribing, clicking this video. And just sending me some love and support, you know. So, I hope that you guys are having a fun and festive week. And um, we're about to get into this weekend. You know, before we get into the tea in the streets. Before we find out what's going on. You know, we always want to give praise and acknowledgement. And thanks to the creator, to Father God, to the universe. Whatever it is that you call him. However it is that you resonate with spirit. So, if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me briefly. Father God, I want to thank you so much for waking us up. For loving on us. For enlightening us. Father God, I want to thank you so much for opening our heart, for giving us the freedom for our wings to spread, for us to soar. We're trying to reach higher, 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 higher goals this time, Father God. We want to know what's going on around us. We want to make sure um, that we have positive people around us. We want to know that um, our friendships are solid. We want to know um, what type of energy the people are um, having that's coming towards us so that we can just know what we need to do to make better moves you know so father god i pray that the collective has some amazing energy out here because you know these cars can say amazing things it ain't got to say no drama you know so let's hopefully that the tea in the streets is that we are loved and highly favored just the way okay god does all right because we are blessed and highly favored and loved above all when it comes to father god all right so father god thank you so much for loving us thank you so much for covering us and father god you already know what i'm about to say Thank you for being a friend. Boom, 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 boom. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Thank you for being a friend. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, Father God. Come on. Sha la la. Sha la la. Thank you for being a friend, Jesus. Thank you. So, we're about to jump right up into this energy, you guys. So, focus your energy. Focus your energy. And we're about to get into the tea. Let's find out what the tea is, you guys. Let's get into this, all right? So, Father God, tell me what the word is around town. What's the word around town right now? What's the tea in the streets? What is the word around town? What's the word around town with the collective? Ooh, okay. Pop out. Do I want to look at it now? Ooh. Child. With the, why we got to have a drama? The wolves and sheep's closing. I can't even talk. Wolf and sheep's closing. Somebody being fake. Fake friendly. Watch out. Watch out. Tell me what's going on with this wolf and sheep's closing. What's the word around town? Or they feel... How, moves in silence. Someone feels like this about you. Somebody feels like this about you, collective. What in the fuck is this? What, what is this called? A case? Sexual infection? Disease? Rash? What the fuck? Why the hell does this keep coming out, y'all? What the hell is this about? Give me some more information. What is this? Tripping on you. Okay. Child, we got dodging a bullet and dirt digging. All right, we just going to stop it right there. Let's see what's under the damn deck. What is this? Impersonator. <laughs> Child. Mm, mm, mm. Got somebody trying to act talk walk and squawk just like you honey um that could be the wolf in sheep's clothing hold on i gotta bring that back out because i said oh okay y'all listen to me tonita listen to me so there's somebody right now 
And I'm going to keep it 100. They're wolf and sheep's clothing, but they feel like this about you too because you move in silence. I feel like you've been keeping to yourself a lot. You have not been telling a lot of people what you've been doing lately. This person feels like you will possibly be burying the way that you really feel about them. And that you be putting on this nice face and sweet persona. But like deep down inside they feel like you don't like them. And you just really not saying something about it to spare somebody's feelings. This is someone that could possibly be trying to be your carbon copy. This person is highly influenced by you. But I feel like it's like taking a negative turn. Like it's literally someone I'm hearing a word succubus. Like um like has some type of negative attachment to you. It's like outside of their comfort zone with you. They're trying to do you in other places around other faces. Around people that you would never cross paths with. You know, so they know your comfort zone between you and them and the type of people that you normally associate with. So these are in, in, people that are outside of that zone, that are outside, that they feel that you, again, would never cross paths with where you would realize that they are trying to imitate you. I feel like you, um, this is dirt digging, looking for dirt on you or vice versa. I don't feel like the collective is um, like looking online or stalking anyone at all. This person may be constantly looking up certain things on social media. I feel like trying to find little imperfections to make them feel comfortable with where they're at. If they can pinpoint something where you fell short, you're struggling, that they feel like they can uh, make you feel insignificant and they have a higher stature to you. Like this person, there are people in this life that, again, they're comfortable with you as long as you are on a level with them and you're not elevating as soon as you start elevating it makes them feel uncomfortable because they're safe in that space they don't really care to go up or down they're just cooling but when you start to elevate it makes them feel inferior it makes them feel like oh you think you're better than me no i'm just doing what i'm supposed to do so if they can find something, little insignificant bullshit that can, what they feel that they could throw out there. Oh yeah, remember when you used to do this? Remember back in high school when you was dead? Remember when you used to da 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 It's like certain, this is someone that's like certain things from your past where it's like they won't let you move past that. Because as long as they can remind you of that, they can pull you back down to their level where you're just like them. I feel like currently this person may not be talking to you for a reason. Um, you're dodging a bullet, but I feel like they're avoiding your mouth. This person on a high level feels like you are not talking to them purposely. And when you do, you're being fake nice to them. And honestly, that you kind of want to let your... <laughs> I heard somebody, it's like a speech impediment. It's like, not in a, like a stuttering way or anything. Your mouth won't let you uh, like curse somebody that you love. So even though you really want to like take this mask off and be like, look, I feel like this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and that. Your body won't allow you to let it roll off of your tongue. That's why you just fall back and don't say anything at all and stay in silence. That's why this person feels like you're being fake. When you're around and you do talk, you're hiding how you really feel. 
but they're honestly scared to, like, you know, they feel, wait, wrong card. They feel like they're avoiding confrontation because you may say some truth about them that will really hurt them. I don't know what sign you are, but you must have a lot of air in your chart. Or you just really are just very direct. I'm hearing Libra. Because Libra will get you straight. Libra will get you straight. They will get you real balanced, real quick. Okay? But sometimes, like, Libra will lie to you instead of telling you the truth to spare your feelings as well. This person feels like they're avoiding the rash, uh, the harshness that is your mouth. You could like rash out lashings on this person because I feel like you're, you're tired of someone's shit. And it's a personator. Maybe you guys are feeling that. Like, are you guys feeling that? Like, you can, like, right now, with everything that I'm saying, is this resonating where you can literally type in the chat, don't do it, though, who I'm talking about? Do you know who this person that you that is literally mimicking everything that you do? And you fell back from this person for this particular reason because you feel like they're copying you. With this wolf and sheep's clothes, I feel like you really do want to say something to this person. You really do want to say something to this person. I feel like you're avoiding confrontation. Impersonator says, wants to be like you, acts like, dress like, looks like, copies you. You could be dodging a bullet with this person right now. Not you could be. You are dodging a bullet with this person right now. If you are just saving face and just moving in silence. There's, these people are trying to find imperfections about you to make them feel better. It says blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by haters. You know exactly what you're doing. So if you're moving in silence and just putting on that poker face right now. You're avoiding to have to tell these people the truth about how you feel about them. You can feel like these people are sick. I don't know if this is mentally, physically, emotionally, something. But someone needs to go and get some type of evaluation. Because I feel like it, there is like some level of unhealthy obsession or unhealthy attachment to somebody where it's like you, you don't want to foster your own identity. You'll rather try to re recreate another. And that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like someone may need to do like a mental health check. Someone is tripping on you. This person can do a lot of drugs. You may not know about it. That's why I, I feel like there's a circle outside of you and this person that you would never come across these people. Like they could do drugs. And you don't do, you don't, you might smoke some weed and have a little cocktail, but you're not doing no fucking mushrooms and all of that damn crazy ass shit. It's, it, in some level, it's like this person. It's like they can't think straight. I feel like this person has some type of emotional deficiency. Like, a, I feel like um, their system isn't balanced as well because I feel like this person probably doesn't eat positively. I don't even know. Like, how do you eat positively? I mean, you can eat positively. 
This person can eat a lot of trash and junk food and just doesn't take care of their overall body and health. And it doesn't help promote positive de decisions for this person. That's why this person would look to other people for an identity and how to pinpoint their emotional self because it looks good on you so it should work on them you feel me this is someone that feels some level of detachment from you so that's the word around town they feel like you're being fake and that you're avoiding them and this person is tripping on you right now they may need to seek some help right now they may need to seek some help because there's more to what meets the eye than how this person really feels about this shit. Because they feel like you're avoiding them. And it's causing some type of mental and emotional turmoil. Especially when it's like you're holding it in and you start dirt digging and you tripping, looking for shit just to find somebody else's imperfections to make you feel good. Yeah, something wrong with you, bitch. Something the fuck wrong with you. You need to seek help. Something wrong with you. So, let's find out what's being said about the collective. I, I don't think we kind of got into what is being said about the collective. But let's expound on that. What's being said? What's being said about the collective? What's going on? Give me three cards. What is being said about the collective? Yep. We got the Nine of Cups in the reverse. We got the Ten of Cups in the reverse. And you got the Seven of Air in the reverse. <laughs> um, what's being said right now is that I feel like you're unhappy with your family and friends right now. Yeah. I feel like you might have like abruptly cut off some people because I feel like you were like emotionally unhappy with the way things were going and you recha you changed your value system. It's something about the way that you were brought up um the family structure with this ten of water being in the reverse like this it's like you don't want to promote being around people that are satisfied with an unhappy and toxic home do you understand what i'm saying you're unhappy with that shit you don't want to be around it anymore i feel like you're calling like you might have showed your ass to fuck off um collective because this is seven of swords it's like I don't want to be around you type of people anymore. It's like y'all are low life. Y'all are vindictive. Y'all are needy. You're pessimistic. You're abusive. You're always trying to get away with doing fucked up shit to fucked up people. I don't want to be around no fucked up people. I feel like the way that you kind of mentally assassinated these people like you might have told some people off so bad and it's like that's why you guys you have no sense of self you have no belief you don't pour into you it's like you're empty it's like pouring into an empty vessel I would have to give my everything just to continue to be around people like you do you understand what I'm saying so what is being said is like you feel like you're unsatisfied. You're personally unsatisfied. You're upset with your family. And I feel like you've been calling people out on their bullshit. Like you're not like you are not allowing people to get away with like distasteful behavior. Y'all doing this shit around kids. You're not promoting and teaching everybody a healthy family structure. It's like this could be a whole bunch of women that want you to support them in chasing after a toxic love affair. And they don't realize 
what it's doing to their family and to their kids. You're not showing your kids what a healthy and happy home looks like. You're not showing your kid like you might be able to look down generation to generation and not see a healthy marriage or all of the women are single and unwedded and complaining about not being emotionally fulfilled because they're not able to find some level of happiness and just attracting the wrong type of people it's I feel like you guys have been I feel like you guys have emotionally had you've been tapped out with this ten of water and the reverse I feel like you're starting over like you could literally have like ruined connections with people that were your family and friends because it's like I need new ones like this is not healthy and I'm not learning anything new I'm not learning anything positive I don't want to be around people that every time I turn around your relationship turns out in divorce there are people cheating on each other y'all got badass kids like I'll be pouring in to an empty vessel I'm not gonna take everything that I have and turn it over to you just to receive nothing. I'm hearing the word ungrateful too. So there could be some people that um, maybe emotionally you allowed them into your foundation. Because again, the, um, ten, um, the ten of um, cups to me is like the home. You have a different standard of family and home. And... You're not allowing people to show their ass. You're not allowing people to think that they can emotionally, mentally manipulate you. And if you see some shit, like honestly and truthfully, because remember I said something over here. It's like someone is dodging you because the way that you, I feel like the way that you are dealing with the situation collective, it's like you're... It's not that you're not talking to them. When you do say shit, these people are dodging because you are hitting them with truths. And that shit hurt because it make them happy to look at themselves. And it's like, I can't even believe that they said that to me. Yeah, I said that to you because maybe you'll leave me the fuck alone. Collective, have you been seeing yourself recently spitting hard truths out to people so they can back the fuck up off you? Am I making any sense? Have you ever um, told someone what you really thought about them and did not hold back, but yet they keep coming around you and doing stupid ass shit? And instead of keeping your mouth silent, and because you know, it's like you're thrashing them and thrashing them, and it's like eventually this person is going to change their behavior. Or they going to keep coming over here and being thrashed because I'm not going to substitute my happiness or my standard for nobody. So either you going to get yourself together or you're going to come over here and you're going to keep getting your ass fucking checked. And eventually you won't <laughs> ever get tired of that ass whooping and just stop coming around me if you don't want to change or you're going to make a change. Or I'm going to change for you because I'm going to be tired of talking to you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the best way to get someone to back up off of you is just gut punch they fucking ass. Nah, bitch, I don't like you because this, 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 and that. I'm trying to tell y'all, this person feels like you've been being nice, but up under that goddamn sheep's clothing, your wrath is up under there. And you're just waiting for this person. It's like, oh my good, I'm so serious, you guys. I'm feeling like... You are waiting for this person to slip up, try to mimic you, try to do any fucking thing. You calling motherfuckers out on that shit, y'all. You calling people out on that shit. People are dodging your bullets right now. And they could be seeking help. And that's probably why they're looking up shit on you. Because like this bitch talking and, and saying this shit about me, it can't be perfect. Not the fuck I am. I might not be 
perfect, perfect, but I'm aiming for perfection. I don't want to be around this shit no more. The seven of swords is when you're around some fucked up ass people. And guess what? I've been burnt by motherfuckers like you before. I know better now. Can suck my ass. You think I'm gonna let you get away with this? Because you know the seven of swords and the upright is when someone getting away with something. Nah, I'm, I'm hip. Your alarm system done went off. Your spiritual alarm system went off and somebody said let the dogs out. I don't know. Listen, when I was at my old house, y'all, I did this reading. It was so fucking funny. I really wish that I could go back and find that shit because I was talking about, like, you know how you got your spiritual gangsters and stuff. And, you know, God always got you protected. And I was talking about you guys having two pit bulls named, um... I don't know, was it Misty and Bruno or something? And I think Misty was the, the female, so she was the real mean one. But Bruno was, you know? And people knew better than to come through their yard. They know better than to come through their yard. And I was saying something. I was, I was dying laughing, y'all. Because it's like, you were just waiting for God to say, let Bruno out. <laughs> let Bruno out that gate <laughs> like cause you had a button to open up that, day, that gate remote and then people stand outside of that gate talking all that bullshit all that rah 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 cause they not bold enough to come inwards and then do all of that but you see him from your window and you been sitting there you been like God oh, Jesus cause I've been ooh I've been ooh this person been dodging the bullet with me cause ooh I've been really ooh I've been itching Oh, I've been itching to let this, to take this, to take, oh, I want to take it off. I want to take it all off. God said, uh, uh peace be still. Move in silence, not violence. They all get dirt digging, they looking up shit. Listen, they all be tripping. I'm going to let you know when to let the dogs out. <laughs> I have to go back and find a goddamn reading, y'all. I have to go back. I feel like right now. I for sure feel like right now what is being said about you is you think that um, you're better than other people. It's like not good enough. Your family, your friends, it's not meeting your personal needs. It's not, I don't want this anymore. It's not healthy for me because cups in the reverse to me is like bad health as well. It's like overindulging. Like you could have been hanging around these people too much. Where it's like you started to act just like them and you were attracting the same type of circumstances because that was the only type of imagery you had in front of you. You know, if you want better men, if you want to be successful, you truly have to go hang around the successful. Because it'll rub off on you. If you if you hang around nothing but low lives and, and, and scum, that dirt gonna rub off on you. You guys are tired of being around people that I don't see any success stories. I don't see any true happiness. I don't see any true abundance. And there's something going on here about some badass kids too. I don't want to be around none of that shit. I don't want my kids around none of that shit. I'm not teaching my kids none of that shit. If it ain't positive, I don't want it around me. If it's not going to feed my happiness and my purpose, I don't want it around me. I don't need those type of family and friends. And you're calling people out on their bullshit. And you handing them your ass to kiss. Okay? So, people could be talking about your behavior and how you been acting here recently, Collective. People could be talking about how you've been acting. Let's see why this is going on. Because, you know, these cards that I got for the most part are like love cards. But I don't necessarily think that this is a love situation. I don't think that this is a love situation, you guys. I really don't. Why is this going on? Let's find out why is this going on with the collective? Why is this going on with the collective? 
in sensual bliss. I, I feel like it's jealousy. I feel like you are like, you are the blueprint. I feel like the only person that they've seen do it is you. It's like you being able to walk away carefree. You being able to speak your mind and not give a fuck about truly what anybody thinks or has to say about you. And it's so, I'm look because I'm looking at this like your body, your physique, it looks good. I feel like you are smart and sharp as a thumbtack too. It's like people cannot get shit over on you. You said what you had to say. You standing your ground and you moving the fuck on. It's like you do not allow anything. And it's like the next morning you posted some shit about you going out to brunch, being happy, smelling roses. Like the shit ain't never happened to you yesterday. Like you ain't just cut off half of your fucking family and your whole lineage and shit. And you, it's, it's, again, how do you do that? That's why you are the blueprint. You stay and you keep your happiness. That's why you got that wolf and sheep's clothing card. Because I'm like, collective, they are saying this about you. They, they're they saying that you are being fake. And it's like, why not? Y'all hoes ain't important enough to upset me. And you lucky that I'm holding my tongue back and not saying what the fuck I really say about you. Because I'm trying to let you have a good motherfucking day, bitch. God said, peace be still. Watch it, huh? And me just even staying that collected and gathered, you bitch. Because you know what's coming next. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it before you be having to go see a motherfucking counselor or some shit. For real. Because this could be... Oh, I ain't even about to do it. I ain't even about to do it. Do you see how this person is like drawing her in the background? Like You are someone's muse. People are amused by you. And like someone is using you. And you are the blueprint. You are the blueprint. The way you live. The way you thrive. The way you keep going. Your happiness. Like. Your sexuality. Like how confident it is that you are about yourself. You are very firm in your identity. That's why you could be carbon copy because you're original. The only person that they seen do it is you. You're the only person that got away. You're the only person that stand up for yourself the way that you do. You're the only person that got a good judge of character and um, discernment about people. Like you can spot bullshit from a thing. I ain't a boy. It is something about this season in y'all life. The way y'all be calling people out on y'all bullshit. Y'all do not be playing, boy. Y'all do not be playing. And it's like other people look at you and admire you. Because it's like, damn, I wish I could. I wish I could be bold like that. That's what keeps you in your state of happiness. It's like, I don't have no reason to front or to bullshit with people. The more that you stand on your business... And your morals and your integrity, the happier you are in life. You, you're you very successful right now in this moment. I feel like you're glowing. It ain't got nothing to do with no tax time. It ain't got nothing to do with no tax. Look, you probably ain't even filed your taxes yet. You, might, you ain't even pressed for that money, are you? Like, you good. Like, collective, y'all are good. Y'all are good. And your but girl, yo, girl, come on, you is your cheeks is cheeking, mama. Look, them cheeks is cheeking. You see that, baby? You see that structure? You see that structure, baby? Them cheeks is cheeking. You better get ready for the spring. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Okay. So that's why it's going on. Let's keep you just blessed and happy. You want a blueprint. I feel like people are just upset that. And, and I know it's a phrase that's been said a time and time over. But they can't sit with you no more. Like you really just don't want them to do it. Like I don't want you to try to come sit over here with me. Go find some place to be by yourself. Like I don't want to be around y'all no more. I don't see you coming around for no family reunion. I don't see you calling people. 
I don't see you having any emotional attachments to people that are low vibrational and just that you don't feel like you want to be a part of your tribe. So what's hitting? Tell me what's hitting. <laughs> Why haughtiness came out? I'm trying to tell you, they think that you think you all that. Because the next question is like, how do they feel about me? But I was going to skip that and just go to what's hitting. But look, this is just, it answers, it's a two-in-one combo. What's hitting and how do they feel about me? They think that you think that you top shit. That you like that. Come on, confirmation. You just come over here and you just nice, nastily cuss everybody the fuck out and dip off on people. Like they don't mean nothing to you. And they see you all on Instagram. They see it's like you are carrying on business. Like this shit did not just happen. And I feel like you were like cultivating like a fan club. You are the, uh, like, there could literally be somebody that really loves your um, content, your material, or whatever it is that you do. Or it could be just your your, your physique. I don't know if you um, work out a lot. You're very athletic. Don't be surprised if, like, a fan club is created or like someone that is like a fan of yours like draws you like a, a, a like a hand uh, like a freehand picture like a portrait of you and like a moment when like you're online or you're doing something and you're happy it's like this person grabs a screenshot and like freehand draws a picture of you and they're going to send it to you and you're like inbox and you're going to be so surprised you really are What's being hidden? What's hidden? What's hidden? What does the collective need to know? Come on. You got surprise. Oh, shit. You got surprise and then you got thief. So, again, I feel like you're coming into something. Like, I, I'm so serious, collective. You guys might be coming into, like, a fan club. You might be very popular you may see something happen very quickly it could be a surprise to you like how something takes off um you're going to receive something that you don't expect because i honestly highly doubt that when that guy pitched his uh net that he knew it was going to be bundles of money that he pulled out there he thought he was just fishing you know what i'm saying and it's like, you could have just put something out there just on some genuine thing. It's like your genuine hustle, what you genuinely just do. And you pull out something way bigger than what you were expecting to receive. But be careful because there are people that are going to try to steal that shit from you. It's like you're going to be the blueprint, but they're going to be the knockoff version of what it is that you do. Because they see how much gain you're receiving from it you understand what i'm saying so you might be coach but they're gonna be coach a you won't be uh coachella they're gonna be nobella <laughs> you feel what i'm saying <laughs> do you feel what i'm saying you're gonna be gucci they're gonna be foopy okay all your same designs everything but it's gonna be foopy Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop fucking playing. What uh what else does the collective um, has to look for to come into them? What's coming in the future? Money! I'm trying to take collective, I'm trying to tell you collective. Collective. Something that you're doing is about to pop. Off and you are not going to it's going to be a surprise you're not going to see this coming baby and these people are already trying to impart listen collective this whole reading has nothing to do with fucking love 
It has to do with someone that you consider a family, a friend, a colleague, or someone that is close to you that they feel like you're being fake with right now. Because you see this person, you see these motherfuckers for who they are. They trying to impersonate you. They are trying to be your mimic, be your carbon copy. And they tripping right now because you are avoiding them. And when you're not avoiding them and you're around them, you're fucking gut punching their ass with some real shit. Because you want them to stop coming around you for real. Because you're not doing nothing but coming over here trying to steal my fucking flow. The collective is not happy right now. This person may feel, what is being said is like this person may feel like you're unhappy with them. If they don't bring anything to the table, like you could be very upset. You feel like they do too much. And you want to divorce from these people. You don't want to be associated. You don't want to be involved with these people. It's like every a bit of emotion that you might have had for them. You might have poured it the fuck out. Like you're washing yourself clean. And again, it's like. I can recategorize you quickly. I just heard something like calling the law to authorities. It's like some type because I, I caught you. I caught you. I, I like what you think I don't see you. My mom said, everybody got ring. What are you talking about? And they're talking about a fucking thief, too. Call the authorities, bruh. Call the authorities. Because the seven of swords with the thief card. The seven of swords is when someone is being caught. This is like literally the thief card. The trickster, the gambler, the scammer. <sighs> so I about to go to jail. If someone legit tries to steal something from you because they see how you are like an influencer, you influence people. Do you see you are this person's muse? You live so carefree. You don't let nothing upset you. You don't let nothing bother you. You have people trying to fucking mimic your personality and who you are. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. So, you guys, I think I'm going to pull out another deck. Because I want to find out uh, what this, because I, I don't feel like this is sexual at all. I feel like this has something to do with family and friends. Um, I'm going to grab another deck here because I want to figure out what that person's intentions is with you. What their intentions is going forward. So we could just, you know, know. Because I see what's going on with you and that you're avoiding this person but i need to know their intentions moving forward um other than continuing to steal your identity because they see everything that's coming to you and then i'm gonna find out what's going on with anybody that may that you may be involved with sexually um because this could be that as well I just heard someone's like doing it, trying to do the things that you like to do. And it's annoying. Like it's annoying as hell. It's like getting annoying as hell to the collective. Like someone is trying to mimic the things that you like to do. Imitation is not flattery. It's theft. The fuck? And especially if you're not accredited the originator. You know? That's just like even sometimes, like I think in one of my videos the other day, I said, um, what funky do I need to say all of the time? Like going to jail. Like every time I say that, I always, I always try my best to remember to say shout out funky do Because that's his lingo, you know? Like, don't try to go and take my swag and my whole face, my whole identity somewhere else where you think I'm not going to go and think you're going to get away with it. Because somebody going to come back to me and be like, oh, no, that's Reds. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, so anyway, let's find out what a now that we know what the word is around town and, and how these people feel about you, what they think that you feel about them, why this is going on, why this is being said. Let's find out what this person's intentions is going forward so the collective can know how to move. What's this person's intentions? Can I have three cards? Got the emperor. One more card, please. Okay, I guess that was two more cards. All right, so you got the emperor. You have, whoa, the king of swords. This person about to try to assert their dominance or something. Well, I heard something about a copyright strike. You guys, make sure everything that you have is trademarked, patented, so no one can steal anything from you. Make sure that you have your business in order. I feel like someone's going to try to assert, assert dominance and control and try to, like, outsmart you in some type of way. I don't like that King of Swords energy. Like, the Emperor's energy is calm because it comes from a place of wisdom. The King of Swords comes from a place of arrogance. And they just want to be dominant. They want to rule. They want everybody to listen to them. They want people to fear them. So this person may exalt some type of um, intimidation tactic to show you that their sword is bigger. I keep hearing trademark infringement. This person may try to trademark your lingo or your sayings or your catchphrases or something like that because it's a sword. That's communication. This person may go try to trademark something that is yours and say, I own it. Because again, the emperor... And the king of swords, that is control and domination. This is like someone saying, well, I bought it or I own something or I control this so I'll take care of you. It's like, they, it's like someone, again, trying to assert dominance where you will feel like you're being taken care of because they got it. What is this? You got the four of pentacles. I just heard someone standing on some type of decision. Someone's standing on some type of decision. And you see, they got all this money behind their back. Is this that shit that they stole? I just heard to recover it. To recover. It's like someone's having to recover some assets, recover some money. Or cover some investments. Or it's like, and again, like the four of pentacles could be like hiding something. Like this person could be hiding something from you. Like they might have gained some money, some royalty, some assets, some something. And it's like they're putting it away so you can't see it. But they're just holding that four of pentacles in front of you. Because like the four of pentacles could be like, Someone trying to show you that they're penny pinching and they're living paycheck to paycheck like they have it, but they really don't have it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I, what I have, I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to show you a little bit. And again, because he has his feet on that two of pentacles, 
I feel like this is like someone made some de decision that they that they felt was right, balanced and just, and they're standing on it, but they're hiding something. I just had a purchasing something and hiding a receipt. Because the four pinnacles could be like the safety deposit box, like a bank, like you know what I'm saying? Something everybody like you don't have access to unless you are the proprietor or the owner. So the proprietor or owner, I don't know, someone might have trademarked something that was yours or something. And they could have said that they did it to help you or they did it for you. And they may be hiding more, like they might have purchased some more shit that they're not telling you about. And it's like they did it under the guise, like, I'm trying to protect you. I'm trying to help you. I'm going to manage the business. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I did it for you. No, you didn't. You did it for some type of fucking manipulation and control shit. You were trying to control shit. Because remember, again, like, the four pentacles is someone that's holding on to something. And it's like you almost got to beg them. To get them to give it to you. Because they are a cheapskate. But they have it. You know what I'm saying? They're just not giving it to you. Or they're not telling you how much they have. Or... This is the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So again, it's like someone's holding back some money and they and it's like they're not helping. I heard someone's not giving back something that's not that's rightfully yours. And it's like you need to give it back. Like you need to give it back. It's like some type of aid, assistance, or it's like you're not helping. Like this person is so stingy and so greedy that they're not willing to do what's right. You know what I'm saying? Because the Six of Pentacles is like receiving a gift, receiving a payout, receiving some type of assistance, aid, help, support. And it's the and the four of pentacles is like I'm not giving you anything. I'm not giving the four of pentacles and the six of pentacles in my voice. I got it to give to you, but I'm not giving you anything. So and again, the six of pentacles could be like regret, regret doing business with somebody because they're not paying out their fair share. It's not equal. It's not even. It's like you could have regret giving someone the power to make a decision or to feel like they can assert some type of power over you. Again, I feel like this has to do with some type of language, somewhere where there could be some type of copyright infringement, and it has something to do with ownership. Someone could be hiding some royalty, some paperwork, some ownership that they might have purchased and did something behind your back. I'm trying to tell you the Four Pentacles is when someone's hiding some shit from you. And this because somebody wanted to assert themselves and have some level of dominance or control. And it could be, and again, because the emperor is someone that feels like they're taking care of everybody. However, the king of swords is about domination and control. So this person could have done whatever they did under the guise, oh, I'm trying to help. No, you're not. No, you were not. No, you were not. You were being greedy. Like I said, it's just a fucking thief. A fucking intellectual property thief or some shit like that. What the fuck is this? Oh, okay. Let me just keep it moving, you guys. And that's why I'm like, this caught a case right here. Like, this motherfucker is sick in the head if they think that they're gonna get away with this shit. Because especially if it has anything to do with intellectual property, I'm pretty sure that you have proof who the originator of this shit was. 
fucking stupid. People are just fucking stupid. That's all I'm going to say. I, I just, I can't. Anyway, so let's find out if you are dealing with someone sexually, what are their intentions with you? Let's find out what the tea is, what the word in the street with this person that you are dealing with sexually. Because I, I, you know, and y'all take this as it resonates. Because y'all could possibly flip this to be a relationship. Because it's like this person only helping you to the extent where they know that you'll have to come back. You know? It's like they, they, this could be someone that you're dating and they know that you need financial support and help. And they're only going to give you just enough. Like if you need rent money and your rent is $1,650, they are literally just going to give you $1,650. You feel what I'm saying? They're not going to give you a dollar over. So it's like if you would, like the Six of Pentacles, is, it's like you could have done something to help someone previously and when it came back in the return for them to help you it's like you realize how selfish and stingy that they are it's like i can't even believe this bullshit it's like i see the money right there and you still not gonna help me i'll give you ten dollars you ain't got nobody else you can ask. but like bitch i just helped you the last weekend but like are you fucking kidding me well i ain't got it to get. I, I don't it's not my obligation like and this person is fucking mean like the six of pentacles is where you you could highly regret highly regret all of the time the energy the generosity the favor that you gave this person because it wasn't reciprocated when when you were in need all right so tell me about how the person that um the collective is dealing with sex sexually how they may feel about them it says you are a devil what did you do to me you're torturing me. What? Whoa. Hold on. This says lesbian fantasies. Thoughts of fucking a girl. Turned on by watching girl on girl porn. Get the fuck out of here. Is this? Because we notice somebody trying to impersonate you and say that, and you know, you're their muse and shit like that. Maybe this is someone that has like some type of sexual fantasy or chemistry with you or something. They think that you don't put a spell on them or did something to them. Especially if you're not talking to them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's keep it moving. Tell me what are the intentions and what is the tea is going on with the person that is dealing with the collective sexually. Tell me. Feeling used. Accepts all you wanted for me, apparently. Child. Collective. Collective. Whose is it? Who does it belong to? Dang, collective. Y'all just cut somebody off. You're the devil. What did you do to me? You're torturing me. You were all in somebody's mind. Collective, I feel like you were dealing with someone that was trying to put some shit on you. But you put some shit the fuck on them. Do you feel me? You put some shit the fuck on them. And there could be someone that could be a female that's in your stratosphere somewhere that is legit having sexual desires and thoughts about you. Do you guys even know this? Collective, do you know this? Is this this person trying to... Do you know this? That this person may have sexual feelings for you? Chill. Uh-uh. Whoever this is, like I said, they feel used. I feel like you just needed them for some sex and you got the fuck on. Like, I, listen, I told y'all my collective don't... Look, I'm not bothered. I'm not pressed and I never bothered. They were really trying to put it on you. I I don't I think you did something to them. So what does this say? Hearts run wild. Anything could happen. Yet this person is really, really, really emotionally tripping about you right now. 
Especially with this you a devil. What did you do to me? This is torturing me. Like this person could be like emotionally going crazy. Crazy right now. Talking about who is this it? And your heart's running wild. Oh, for real? Oh, for real? What else we got here? Booty. It's the ass. Fuck, look, it's them clappers. It's them clappers and the snapper, baby. It is the clappers. I'm trying, they be thinking this, they be thinking about how uh, your ass was jiggling when you was throwing that pussy back. And that's one thing. Let me tell you about that collective. We ain't no pillow princess. We gonna throw it back. We gonna throw it back. Oh, God. We are reloaded. They are thinking about them clappers. Look, look, look at the confirmation. They is thinking about them clappers and that red snappers. Okay, girl. Okay. Oh, you reload it. Stop playing. Feel like used. Let me find out. Ooh, third party. Multiple partners involved. Hmm. They feel like you got them all tied up in bondage. Like you have done something to this person. This person feels like you got to be fucking with somebody else because the way that you just like fucked them, dumped them, and left them the fuck alone, like, it got to be somebody else because like, what the fuck? Tell me what's the tea. What is this person's sexual intentions and desire with my collective? What is really going on with them? It says, come to me, calling you out. You know what? I'm gone. I'm gone. This motherfucker is trying to manifest you. Because their heart is running wild. Uh, this person wants to try to control you. You see this shit? Do y'all see this shit? Bitch. Come to me. Calling you in. I want you to come to me. Oh my god. They think you with a third party. They is missing the booty. They is feeling used. And if they can get you, I promise you, they going, they are going to try to put that shit on you so that you don't go nowhere. And if there is a third party, they going to get rid of them. Tell me what else. I'm nosy now. Shit. Tell me what else going on with the collective hell. All right, all right, give me two more cards. What else? We got come race. Who will come first? And then this card right here says head in the clouds. You got me daydreaming about you. So this person is daydreaming about their next sexual encounter with you. I feel like you a little bit competition in the bed. Like they be having a hold back. You know what I'm saying? Like they really be having a hold back because they don't want to come too quick. They were thinking about the last time and how that thing was throbbing. Oh, y'all. They want you to come back. They want you to come back. Their heart is running wild. They want to control you. They want you to tell them whose is it. They want you to stamp it. They want you to stamp it. Whoever this person is that they think that you was fucking with. Collective, this person thinks that you were messing with somebody else. And that's why you just carried them the way that you did. They really do. They feel, they feel like you were playing with them. And what does this say? The senses. Listen. Feel what your body wants and needs. I'm trying to tell you, you have that sensual touch. It wasn't just fucking with you, collective. Like, you really took the time. You made love to this person's body. You tantalized the senses. You touched this person's soul. You did something to this motherfucker. This person thinks that you done did something. You don't put that voodoo pussy. You don't put that splash mountain all up and through that. You don't fuck. You, you know what, collective? I'm getting the fuck up out. No wonder. No wonder why this motherfucker need to go see a head shrink. No wonder. Okay, bitch? No wonder. Shit, you your head shrink. Shit, you look. <laughs> look, your head ain't hit that. I gotta go. Collective, I love you. Thank you for loving me. And I'll see you next time, baby, when we in the streets. Peace.